everybody this is Kim I'm back again with another video don't forget to subscribe click the thumbs up leave comments at the bottom this video is going to be on my Sephora VIB sale items um, if you don't know Sephora do a sale every spring and winter I believe it's like a little bonus little thing they send out all of the um, beauty insider um, people is um, Rouge, VIB, and BI. I'm a VIB, so I got 15%. Normally, what I do uh, when they come up with this sale, I normally just buy either skincare or fragrances. For his makeup, uh, sometimes I do. I so, this time, I just bought all fragrances because my favorite niche brand is going out of business why I don't know because they have amazing fragrances and the brand is a uh, commodity 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 is going out of business or either I don't know if they're going out of business or they're revamping their whole um, brand I don't know but I know Sephora had them at 40% off Normally, the fragrances run from 105, I think all the way up to like 150. They also have candles and soap. They have a lot of things. So what I got, this is one of the items. This is Book by Commodity. A little small travel. It's supposed to be the best of book. Yeah, that's what it looks like comes with the travel size um the travel size perfume a candle as well as lotion also because anytime i buy a fragrance i just love to buy the travel size along with the the um fragrance because this is something i normally just keep in my purse whichever perfume i'm wearing for the day i normally put the travel size inside of my purse i bought the regular size um, perfume and this is the 3.4 fluid ounce size bottle this is supposed to be a unisex fragrance um, which I love and of course I've already I've already sprayed them and I know what they smell like um, but I'm gonna just kind of give my opinion on camera I'm just gonna spray it on this piece of napkin because that's all I have and of course I missed <laughs> yes I like the way book smells because I love um, sandalwood fragrances so again yes you can really smell you can really smell that sandalwood in it and I guess you can't smell that Bergamot. This isn't like a sweet scent. This is more of a a warm. Even though it's unisex, it most definitely cater more to the man side of unisex fragrances. Instead of just kind of being in the middle, not too sweet, not too warm. I think it's a little bit more on the the male side of fragrances. But I do like it a lot. Okay, the next one, we're gonna stay with the black collection because that commodity, commodity has three um, categories or groups, I should say. They have a white, black, and platinum. So, as you see, the book comes in the black group. So, I'm gonna stick with that. So, the next one I got is velvet. I don't have the travel size hopefully I could order the travel size before they completely sell out hopefully I could get that so let's see what it looks like and this one I really really like it this is actually what I'm wearing today is velvet this is supposed to be like Mason Margiela by the campfire this is supposed to smell exactly like it and I honestly feel like it do this oh I really 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 like it I love just about anything that has almost like that 
um, it's hard to say, like that roasted smell, like wood. I, I just love that. This one is nice. Really, really nice. I really, really like this one. It smells almost like like spices and roasted marshmallows mixed with almost like if you were sitting by a fire and roasting marshmallows. You could really smell that vanilla. I don't even know if it have vanilla in it, but I smell vanilla and I smell like cinnamon or something. Oh, this is so, so nice. I really, really like this velvet. So, when this is gone, nine times out of ten, I might buy the uh, Margiela one by the campfire because I really like this one. And as I said, this is a unisex fragrance. Most of the time, the black, the black ones is more catered to men, even though they're unisex, it's just a more um stronger i don't shouldn't say stronger they're not sweet floral type of scents so they're cater more to men than women but they are unisex fragrances we're gonna go with this one this is the only one and this is ooh, i've shown this one once before on my channel this one is magnolia this is one i already had so I didn't get this one on the VIB sale. Now, this is the one that I really, 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 really wanted. I wanted this one so bad, but I guess this is everybody's favorite because it was completely sold out. I could not find it anywhere, <sighs> nowhere. So if you happen to find this fragrance in Sephora on clearance, oh, get it because it is really really nice i really like this one but this one is my favorite one this is more of a white floral scent this one is lovely this is my all-time favorite my number one favorite is this one with the um with the commodity brand okay now my second favorite is Mimosa. Mimosa is, and then I also have it in the travel size. And Mimosa is really, really nice as well. And this is with the white collection. Love this. And this is more of a citrus scent. It's, it smells just like oranges. <laughs> it smells like oranges with a little bit of a floral scent in it. Love this one too. This is like my number, this is like my number two. And then I think this velvet is number three for me. But it's a close, it, these two are close, very, very close. Okay, the next one I have is tea. I don't have the travel size with this one because it was completely sold out. So I don't have it. If I could find it, then I might buy it. But tea is really, really nice. This is soft. This most definitely is a very soft fragrance. Mm -hmm. Heck, I don't know why they're discontinuing these. These are so... This... This line, this collection, or this brand is so underrated. I don't know why they're not selling more and why people are not actually talking about this brand more because their fragrances are really, really good. And like I said, this size bottle retails for $105, but Sephora had it on a 40% markdown because it's discontinued, which sucks big time because this is nice. Oh, so heartbroken. Mm, mm, mm. That smells good. Heartbroken. Okay, and then my next one is Rain. Yeah, at first I wasn't <laughs> at first I wasn't gonna buy this one. I went but to the store looking for 
uh, Mimosa and Magnolia. And they really only had like rain and another one, rain and gold. I had ordered just the travel size and that's all I was going to get. But I started wearing it and I really liked it. So when I went into the store, like I said, I really wasn't going to buy it. But the lady, the sales associate, she was talking about it, talking, you know, oh, I love it. And it's really, really nice and all that. I said, well, you know what? I do like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. Rain is, it is nice. It's really, really nice. Like I said, it's a more of a floral scent. Nice, soft, floral scent. If you like a floral uh, fragrance, like a floral slash um, citrus or fresh. That's what I say this one is. This is more of a floral slash fresh scent. Then the next one I have is gold. And of course the travel size. A lot of people love gold. I think gold and magnolia and book might be their number one sellers yeah I, I honestly believe because it was hard for me to find gold I actually had a couple of these I had my daughter um, buy them for me because she lived in Texas so she purchased them down in Texas because they're sold out in my area and this is more of a vanilla scent um, fragrance yes very much like a um, vanilla like a vanilla almond type of scent mm -hmm. most definitely a lot of vanilla is in this fragrance it says bergamot but I don't smell bergamot I don't smell anything but like an almond scent and vanilla but like I said I believe that this is one of their number one seller gold book and uh, magnolia and the last one I have is nectar and I have it in the trial size the travel size now nectar I don't really like this one and of course I got the trial size too, the travel size as well. But most definitely, I will have to pair this with one of my sweeter um, scent fragrances, fragrance, in order to make this one smell better because I don't like it at all. And that's probably why it was so many, so many of these inside the store because I guess nobody really liked this fragrance. This is Nectar by Commodity. And the next one I got is I got a sample of Boris. I guess that's how you pronounce it. B-O-I-S. I really wanted to get at least one fragrance from the Platinum Collection. And I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to get. I remember I also have this. I bought this a long time ago because this is called the storybook. I bought this one a long time ago because I, like I said, I really wanted to try the, the fragrances. And I do have some of the platinum ones, which is the gray ones at the top. It's just that I couldn't figure out which one that I wanted to buy. So that's the end of this video. My, this that's what I bought for the Sephora VIB sale. Like I said, I normally always buy fragrances or skincare, hardly ever buy makeup. Um, you can get your hands on some of this commodity. I really recommend that you buy it because it is really, really good. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the thumbs up. Leave me some comments at the bottom. Have you ever tried commodity fragrances? If not, or if you have, let me know that at the bottom. What's your favorite? How do, how do you layer your fragrances? If you do layer fragrances to, to kind of customize your scent. So let me know how y'all layering y'all y'all fragrances. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the thumbs. Click the thumbs up. <laughs> Leave comments at the bottom, and I see y'all in the next one. Peace.